Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Friday reviewer, Chris, from Chris B Movies. You know my name is Chris. And you know I love B Movies. But I also like cult films. I'll be at this one from 1984, from Tim Burton. It's a show, it's only 30 minutes long, and it is called Frankenweenie. Now you know the longer version of Frankenweenie, which was an animated film, also done by Tim Burton. But this is the original cult classic. Uh, one I have never seen before, and I'm kind of ashamed to say that, but since Halloween is coming, Halloween, uh, I wanted to do a really cult classic film, like Frank and Weenie. And so I went to do a search, and it was on Disney, and I got Disney. So I watched it with my wife. My wife thought it was pretty disturbing, but I kind of enjoyed it. You know, you never like to lose a pet. It sucks when you, when you lose a pet. I have a pug who's 14, and she's getting to that age, and uh, I'm kind of dreading losing her because... She's been one of the love of my life for a while. So when you watch a movie like Frank and Weenie, the chance that you can revive a dog who has passed and bring him back to life, um, I think it's, that's a dream for anybody. So it starts off with Victor, a.k.a. Victor Frankenstein, a little kid in 1984 called Victor Frankenstein. What's cooler than that? And his uh, mother, Susan, his father's Ben. Susan is played by Shelley Duvall. Ben is um, played by Daniel Stern. Uh, you know Shelley Duvall from The Shining, Daniel Stern from Home Alone. Uh... Another movie with a little kid. <laughs> and um, so Victor is played by Barrett Oliver, also from Never Ending Story. If you haven't seen Never Ending Story, you should watch it. And Cocoon and Cocoon Returns. And so he makes movies with his dog Sparky, the little bull terrier. And um, kind of SOV films. And the family, you know, they all watch them together. And the kid's got a lot of talent, you know. And so afterwards, he's playing outside with his dog. And he has a very good attachment with Sparky. And he's throwing, playing catch with Sparky, throwing the ball. Except... This is so foreshadowing, because in the yard, there's a big opening with the street right there, and he's kind of throwing it kind of close to the street. First time, Sparky catches him. Second, st second time, it goes into the road, and you know it's going to go on the road eventually. So Sparky goes and chases it, gets hit by a car and killed, and now Victor is all distraught. Uh, he, he just he can't focus. He's, he's a mess. Um, his family is very upset, and all the neighbors kind of saw what happened, and they kind of just look and disgust and just... They, he has the nosiest neighbors and the most annoying neighbors in the world. So at school, he's learning about electronic impulses, um, where a dead frog gets reanimated, and he's thinking to himself, hmm. Now, he's a very bright kid, and kind of the same way Victor Frankenstein in the original Frankenstein film revives the monster, he basically does the same thing with Sparky. Sparky gets revived. Now, Sparky is alive. But his parents don't know it. <laughs> his parents don't know it. They are completely spooked out. Like, they don't even want to get any other dog. They're like, what the, what the heck? But, and eventually they stop warming up and stop really supporting the son. And now the neighbors um, are getting wind of Sparky dying and coming back to life. And they're kind of spooked out as well, including Sofia Coppola in one of the funniest scenes I've ever seen in a film. <laughs> she plays Ann Chambers, Mr. Chambers' daughter. <laughs> it is the most random scene just watch it. It had me laughing out loud, hysterically. Um, and Mr. Chambers is one of the neighbors, one of the nosy neighbors. So, um, the Frankensteins invite all the neighbors over, and they basically tell them what happened. And all the neighbors are really spooked out. Like, they want this dog dead, you know? They don't want no zombie dog running around the area. So things happen, and Victor and Sparky just run off. And they run off to this miniature golf course in this, in this windmill. And when they run into the windmill, all the townsfolk, the neighbors, are basically setting the place on fire. And Victor kind of just, like, collapses, and Sparky saves his life. And now all the neighbors see that. Sparky saved Victor's life, and now they stop warming up to him. But as soon as they stop warming up to him, the windmill collapses and kills Sparky again. Uh... The end scene, spoiler alert, spoiler alert here, I almost couldn't say alert, but I did say it, I got it the second time, <laughs> sees all the neighbors trying to revive Sparky one more time and bring Sparky back to life with the use of their automobiles. Yeah, man, this is such a cult classic, Frank and Weenie, I'm so glad I watched this one, um, you know, and it, it's, you know, I mean, anytime you lose a pet, you don't really want to lose a pet. You want to revive them. And I, I wish I could do that to some of my pets from the past. But unfortunately, only in the movies you can do stuff like that. Just a fun little film. Um, definitely a family film. Um, 
with a good ending, so you could have your kids watch it, and they might be happy at the end, you know. They might be sad when Sparky dies, but then, you know, Sparky comes back to life. And the dad has a really good ending, with all the neighbors helping him. Everybody coming together for the good of Sparky. Yeah. Based on Frankenstein, um, a comedy, uh, half-hour film, so, you know, to watch with you and your kids, or, or whoever you want to watch it with your girlfriend. You want to press a girl? Hmm, put it in Frank and me. The short. Yeah. But I loved it. Um... I give it a 9 out of 10. I thought it was fantastic. I've never seen the longer version of Frank and Wee, so now I'm interested in, in watching the full length of Frank and Weenie. But yeah, uh, the original Frank and Weenie from 1984 by Tim Burton, another great classic Tim Burton short film. Short film, but still a great film as of that. So check it out. I highly recommend Frank and Weenie. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to comment, please comment below. Please subscribe to Body Bags and Crispy Movies. Yeah. And uh, next week, I'm going to bring another fun title to the mix for, you, for all of you, for all of you to watch and enjoy. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. Check out all the other Body Bags reviewers. They're all awesome dudes who love movies just like we all do and bring a new perspective into each film that they uh, review. So definitely check them all out and again i'll see you next week don't forget to watch those late night horror movies read up on your latest fright mags don't forget to tune in to another episode of a show we call party bags <laughs>